Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to Book Talk Tuesday. Um, I'm outside again just because it's such a beautiful day. But just to make it a little bit crazy, I went to the other side of the table in my backyard. So it's a different view. Um, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the great weather. It makes me so happy. So today I went on to Mo Willems' um, videos that he's doing uh, called Lunch Doodles with Mo. Uh, if you are not familiar with Mo Willems, um, you need to you need to know who he is. Anybody who is in school right now, all the way through seniors in high school, know about the Pigeon Books. These are by Mo Willems. Um, this is one of the newer ones. I don't think it's the newest. Yeah, I think there's still a couple more after this, but um, this is the only one we have in my house right now, so I pulled this one out to show you. I love the Pigeon. I love the Pigeon Books. I've loved them ever since they first came out. Kids love them. Um, but I especially love Mo Willems' books, um, his Elephant and Piggy books. There's, I think there's 20 of them. He's not writing anymore. Uh, one of these days I'm going to buy the whole series just to have in my house so that I can read them when I need to be happy because they make me so, so happy. Um, anyway, he's doing these lunch doodles and every day he's doing a video at, uh, talking about art and showing you how to draw. Um, today he was doing, um, he was showing all of his... Well, he shows you how to draw the pigeon, but he's also showing his um, original art for Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. Uh, well, not today. That was his first one. I just went back to the very first one. So I think every day I'm going to start watching one of those because it just brought me joy. It brought me so much joy to watch that. Um, I didn't draw the pigeon because I was painting my nails. Uh, but, you know, priorities. I'm going to go back and draw the pigeon. Uh, if you check the Wilkerson Library Rocks Instagram page... Uh, my daughter drew a picture of the pigeon in quarantine last night out in our cul-de-sac, so it's pretty fun. So I shared that with you. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about books that are based off of fairy tales, and they're just a modern twist on fairy tales. I love fairy tales, but I especially love when authors twist them. I just love, love, love that. Uh, there are lots of picture books that are like that. One of my favorite is The Horned Toad Prince. Um, by Jackie Mims Hopkins. Uh, she lives in the Houston area, or she did. She used to. I don't know if she does anymore, but she's, uh, I, that's one of my favorite ones, picture books. I know I talked about Jen Kalanita um, a couple weeks ago, uh, but I just wanted to remind you that she is doing uh, something on Instagram and on YouTube, and she's um, like she's giving away signed books, you guys. She puts writing prompts on her YouTube channel, and then um, if you comment, you could be entered in to win a signed book of hers. Uh, she's got the uh, Fairy Tale Reform School and then the uh, Royal Academy Rebels series. And then she's also written a couple books in the Des uh, Disney Twisted Tales series, uh, Conceal, Don't Feel, and Mirror, Mirror. And she also has some other young adult books that you guys might, might want to pick up. But um, she's doing some cool things, especially if you like to write. Um, so those are good ones to read and I talked about misfits because I read that a few weeks ago I have my cheat sheet because I haven't read all of these yet, but I wanted to share them with you So another one is the school for good and evil series uh, this uh, first one uh, Starts out it says the first kidnapping happened 200 years before um, Some some years it was two boys taken some years two girls Sometimes one of each but if at first the choices seemed random soon the pattern became clear one was always beautiful and good, the child every parent wanted as their own. The other was homely and odd, an outcast from birth, an opposing pair plucked from youth and spirited away. So this is 200 years after this started happening, and I think people are starting to figure it out. This book is long. And I got to tell you, long books stress me out often. So... I have this book on hold at the public library for the audio version. So I'm going to listen to this on audio because I really want to read it. But that's a lot of pages. And I just have so much I'm reading right now that, um, and I'm, I'm not a super fast reader. So I'm going to listen to that on audio. And then Rump, um, I, have, I read this, but it's been years and years ago. So I'm going to read to you from my cheat sheet. In a magic kingdom where your name is your destiny, 12-year-old Rump is the butt of everyone's jokes, but when he finds an old spinning wheel, his luck seems to change. He discovers he has a gift for spinning straw into gold, and his best friend, Little Red Riding Hood, tells him that this is dangerous using magic this way, um, but he doesn't really listen. 
So with everything, every yarn he spends, every gold he spends, he is digging himself further and further into a curse. So this is the true story of Rumpelstiltskin, not the one you are probably familiar with. So I love that. Uh, this is another one that I want to read. I brought this one home uh, around spring break or right after spring break, I guess. Uh, the Hero's Guide to Saving the Kingdom. So all of these that I'm showing you are all books in series. So there are more than one book that you could read in these series. So this is another one that's in the series. Uh, so I haven't read this one yet, but you've heard about uh, Prince Liam, Prince Frederick, Prince Doug uh, Duncan, Prince Gustav. You, uh, you've heard of them, but they're all princes who have saved Sleeping Beauty, Cinderella, Snow White, and Rapunzel, respectively. And yet, they're all known as Prince Charming. Um, but that's about to change. Rejected by their princesses and cast out of their castles, the princes stumble upon an evil plot that could endanger their kingdoms. Now it's up to them to triumph over the various shortcomings, take on trolls, bandits, dragons, witches, and other assorted terrors, and become the heroes no one ever expected them to be. That one's big, but um, I mean, I'll read the one every now and then. But, so I might listen to that one while I'm reading the other one. Um, or maybe I'll listen to it. We'll see. Uh, and then Land of Stories is another one that you guys may have uh, be interested in. Uh, I read, actually I read this one. Um, well, I listened to it because it's thick. Um, the the um, Land of Stories has maybe six, five or six books in the series. Uh, and it is about Alex and Connor uh, Bailey. They are um, twins. And this is a modern version of a twist on the fairy tales we've already read. Um, the Land of Stories tells the tale of Connor and Alex, and through the mysterious powers of the cherished book of stories, they leave their world behind and find themselves in a foreign land full of wonder, magic, and they come face to face with fairy tale, fairy tale creatures that they grew up reading about. But after a series of encounters with witches and goblins and trolls, they find that it might not be as easy for them to get back home. Uh, so this is a, a fantastic series, very popular. It's long, but you know, we have time. We're home right now, so we have time. Uh, and nobody nobody cares how fast or slow you're reading it. They really, they don't. You can be as slow as you want. Take your time. Um, I'm a slow reader. If I try to read fast, I end up having to go back again. Anyway, I hope that you will pick up some of these. If uh, you've read some other ones, leave them in the comments. I have more that I'm going to talk about next week because there are so many. And I just, I love the twist on these fairy tales. So I hope you guys will check out... Um, Mo Willems and his doodles because it's so fun. I don't care how old you are. It's awesome. Uh, also on our Instagram page, the Wilkerson Library Instagram page, I posted the cover reveal for Alan Gratz's new book that's coming out probably next year in 2021. It's about um, September 11th um, because it's almost the 20th anniversary of that. I cannot wait for that one. So you guys have a great day and go read lots of books.